All right. Good morning. Good morning. I promise we'll do XCOM soon, but I'm really, really hooked on this game right now. <laughs> I'm really, really hooked on this game right now. The game is so good. Um, yeah. All right, soon, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Brownie faces the chat. Chat, you make me feel bad. I like this game. All right, all right. Should I say tomorrow? Tomorrow, XCOM? <laughs> oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't a what will I play. It was what does chat want. I was pulling your opinion, not the outcome. I chose to ignore your opinion, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, feel, feel a little awkward about that. Oh, I see you like those things. That's nice. Have this thing instead. I voted. You guys didn't see my vote, but my vote was worth more than the uh, accumulated votes thus far. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, <laughs> therefore, we changed the outcome. All right, um, some cool things though. Today, today is the first episode, um, or we're not we released today, we released tomorrow, but we're recording the first episode of the new D&D &D campaign. This will be season three of D&D &D, uh, with Zygon. You guys uh, may know as a sub of the channel, but you guys probably haven't seen him as DM. Um, so that will be tonight. We've got a, it's gonna be Zylo, Ricky, myself, and Joe and Ribs as the players, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Got new characters, level five characters, so kind of uh, past the very, very early game, but into still in the early stages of character development in that game. Um, some fun backgrounds, some fun classes. I'm really looking forward to that tonight. So uh, that will be tonight. We'll be recording that tonight, so it'll be released tomorrow. Um, we have some Divinity Original Sin 2 coming this afternoon with uh, Joe and Ribs as a co-op play. Uh, that will be about 2 p.m. Uh, U.S. Central, so about five hours from now. Um, Battle Brothers until then, and I'm gonna try to do some XCOM tomorrow or the next day, probably. I believe in it. It's just I'm having a lot, a lot of fun with this game right now. Uh, and it's really hard for me to, like, turn away when I'm, like, mid-campaign of a game that I am heavily addicted to. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I was all set to go, I, I, actually, Kex, I think Kex and Oak Dragon... And, no, Kex and Fourleaf talked me out of XCOM, so if you want to blame anyone, blame them. Uh, I was uh, on the fence right till the last moment, and then I'm like, they're right, it's not a democracy. Why am I letting chat dictate my actions? Chat's always wrong. I should just go against whatever chat votes, I thought internally. And then, uh, and then I did. So here we are. Here we are. So it works. We got a cool fight coming up right off the bat. <laughs> blame me. All right, we're out of uh, stuff. Uh, we're about to fight some orc and orc young, which is fine. I don't mind fighting orc and orc young. I don't really want archers for it. Uh, and things. Things. Okay, so we do want to level our hybrids here. Uh, hybrids are pretty good in this fight. Fights the axes are good, and the uh, uh, the other things are good too. The crossbows, axes, and crossbows. Two-handed weapons, pretty clutch here. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of dudes? We don't have our megas in right now. Do I need to have megas for this fight. There are some orcs in here. Having taunt can be really useful. I don't need a foil in here. It's not like we have the option of DPSing their heads. Alright, let's run Death and his Inevita. And do we have a second foil in there right now? We do have hammer tanks. Both Kate and Lord Solar Steve supposedly are hammer based. Give her a hammer then. Don't want her on the edge if that's going to be the case. 
No, uh, oh, Kate's got underdog, though. And doesn't have indomitable. Alright, fine, Kate, fine. Give uh, Lord Sword Steve the hammer. Do cat. Mace stun, not so useful this fight. Although I'd love that experience. And second mega tank for damn useful. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Uh, thank you very much, Var, for the sub. Welcome to the channel. I, I'm enjoying the XCOM, don't get me wrong, but I'm really enjoying the Battle Brothers. So it's very hard for me to walk away from that right now. Alright, got a lot of HP on the field. Uh, let's make sure our gear is repaired. QED. Uh, 88 stam here, it's good. On a Bannerman. It's wearing 130 gear. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's the other thing I wanted to switch around. I want to switch around some full packs. We're not going to use 10 crossbow bolts. That's not really that relevant. If we had used archers, it would be relevant. Uh, what's our highest melee skill? 7, 6. Could give QED 79, 84 on Stevie. Give him the dire wolf. We have some 130 gear too. 79, 75. 79 with the 130 gear. Alright. We have some other 140 hats. Don't need to run that. Everyone in 140 right now at least. Yes. Alright. Okay. Hi, right, Spar. Uh, hope my day's been going well. Just woke up. This is the uh, start of my day. Uh, but any day where I'm playing Battle Brothers at the moment is a day I've been enjoying. We have perks of QED. Alright. Let's bring up the Battle Brothers builds. Hey, Scott Reed. Uh, take a look. I made some decisions last night about this. I'm not sure. I kind of cleaned up the core, the core variants on these. Um, Currently at Footwork, Anticipation, Killing Frenzy, and Crossbow Spec. We don't have Crossbow Spec. So that's the next one we're picking up then. Does he have lower accuracy than... There's no way QED doesn't have the lowest accuracy here. 76, 85, 75. Oh, you gotta give up the big Crossbow QED. I'm sorry. I know, I know. Thing puts a hurt on people, but... You don't put as much a hurt on people as you think you do. Okay. Uh, heater shields to pop out in case, oh, not what I want to do, in case we have to do that. And there. One, two, three, four. We've got some nets. Mega tanks with shield spec have the proper heater shields as opposed to these decayed things. And we have our hammer in. Do we want to run a noble sword somewhere? Not really. Oh, Mighty Brew's good. You might actually swing this sword a little bit. Okay. Are you a brother yet, Scott? Uh, you are not, my friend. We haven't had that many deaths recently, so there's a backlog. You're on the list. On the list. Uh, we are, will be doing some recruiting today, but when we recruit people that we're not dismissing, when we dismiss, when, instead of dying, they don't get renamed, they keep the name. I don't think it's fair to just dismiss someone who's volunteered a character. Okay. This looks mostly okay. Um, anything else we want to do? Oh, we want that level up on QED. When we were looking at this, looking at potentially crossbow spec here. Anticipation. 
Killing Frenzy. Crossbow spec. Alright. Let's do it. Let's kill Kex again. Well, Moira, you're next on the list of people to be named. And Kex is after that. Or no, Kex is third. He's after kills just Dodd. So we're, uh... We can't just kill Kex again. We've already killed him a couple times. Have to kill someone else. My thoughts on the Wildman changed. Yeah. I looked into their stats. So uh, have you guys noticed the the, ne the new page on the Battle Brothers builds? I just did some really simple spreadsheet stuff. Uh, where I took a look at what happens if I select for specific stats based on a character background. What do I get in terms of... Uh, uh, in terms of uh, the correct stats that I want for each build. And what it turns out is that uh, turns out that some of the backgrounds have very, very, and Wildman being one of them has some really, really powerful stuff. We're going to look a little bit more closely at the stuff as we, as we get them, basically. Alright, I have really shitty shots in the crossbow, but what else am I going to do with them? I mean, it is stamina. It's not entirely free, but... I think with crossbow spec, it's, uh, it's 4 to shoot it and 17 to reload or something. So I think it's 21 out of 15. So. And the archers, right? I like how they never hit anything. I would like to shoot this one. And the other axe one would be, or uh, the axe one would be nice. How many orcs in here? I only see four young and one orc right now. Uh, no, Kex. Uh, it says in the description of student that the perk turns off when you reach max level. Showing up there. Okay. Here come the charges. I thought about killing the one wounded one to prevent the charge damage, but he's so low in terms of health that it feels like better to let him engage. We'll just hang out. They've already attacked. Save the crossbow shots. <laughs> Fuck me, I hit something. Well, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, uh, Scott, you sometimes see a little cover icon that will pop up. The orc I was shooting over here was behind cover. And these guys don't do a particularly good job of going through cover. It's a nice hit. That was the hammer. Let's wait and see if the rest of them want to show up. Should be a fairly easy kill. I don't even know if I need to waste the crossbow charge for that, though. I think I just want to axe it. Hey Siri. <laughs> Sounds like someone else is disappointed I'm not playing XCOM. I will get to it at least once this week. How's that? There's my promise. My word is my bond. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, by the way, tonight I'm playing a charlatan. It will be the character uh, background that I'm playing with uh, with my uh, new character. Uh, I don't know if that's related to our conversation we're having right now, but I just, just want to point that out. Probably getting stunned on Brother Kate. Ooh. That's pretty cool. 
So that's really interesting. That was a regular crossbow shot into an orc warrior. And it did enough piercing damage, enough armor penetration there with the crossbow with crossbow spec, that we actually got a uh, a roll out of... Uh, I really didn't think that would work. We got a we got a uh, morale check there. I'm really surprised by that. I actually thought the math didn't work out that way. So here's how this works. Let's let's talk about this on stream because this, this is not always 100% clear. So this crossbow does 50 to 70. It's average 60 damage, right? So 60 damage with uh, the mods on this. Uh, I think the base. Crossbow penetration. Why doesn't it show me base penetration here? I think base is 75. And it goes up to... Uh, why can't I not see the crossbow stats? We'll do it. We'll have to do it off screen. But just remember this. Remember this. We want to talk about this. I'm really, really surprised that happened. Really surprised. Alright. Let's smack this orc in the face. Orc baby. Uh, already finished his turn. I would like to kill this before it acts. It probably calls for a crossbow bolt plus a axe strike. Ooh, that hit head. Okay. Alright, brother Kate. That one didn't do enough. I don't think. I'm actually surprised they're doing as much damage as they are, quite honestly. What is the cleaver? Uh, I don't have a cleaver. I have a legendary uh, great axe, if that's what you're talking about. Let's make sure we get the taunt off here. Top right warrior. This dude? Or Kate? Or the Bill Hook? Bill Hook is um it's kind of a pull arm. Alright, let's let this next wave of orcs stun into us. Oh the orc warriors? Yeah, that's orcs orc warriors do have cleavers. These are axes, that's an axe, these are clubs. That's an axe, and these look like cleavers. Okay. Wait, this orc, you think? I think that's just a regular orc cleaver. They're called something else. Uh, man, man cleaver, maybe? Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Okay. Got orc young in here. We're going to have a war orc warrior on top of us in about two seconds here. I do want to finish these young off. And this guy's in an annoying position. We can back up uh, Stevie, but we got to be aware of that. Uh, the orc, orc young will kill people eventually, and they distract me from the orcs themselves. So I think I'm just going to DPS there. It's a good hit. All right, Stevie. Pop the great axe. Smash him in the face. That's a big hit. And back up. Barbaros. We might be able to break the orc. Nice. Do I have my crossbow loaded still? Kill the orc here. That was a headshot. Guess we can't kill the orc. Alright, no shield wall here. Another orc warrior just showed up. Yeah. We'll have a look at it's the loot, see if the loot table is any different, but I think it's just a special cleaver. This is like the tier, this is the shitty cleaver, and that's the better cleaver, right? Or maybe it's the other way around. 
All right. Damage there is a headshot annoyingly. Probably kill that. And then hit this one. Get in there. Smack that guy. Gonna have this charge in from this guy in a moment. It's gonna be annoying. Let's pull a shield. He's out of juice, out of action juice. The guy's running away and dying for it. Good. Reveros, does he have a crossbow shot left? It's not. Kind of in a state. They can't charge into there, but the two of them could. If he went there, the orc warrior could go in there. Uh, let's pop a shield for now, just in case. Okay. Armor dented. We did taunt him. Taunt again. <laughs> Not sure why the orc warriors are rolling. So the orc uh, young are uh, rolling so low on their attack, their initiative rolls. It's not a roll initiative in this game. So I'm not sure why they're going so late in the turn order is what I'm getting at. All right, orc young, we need to kill it. Uh, Barbaros waiting. Okay. Just chocolate. Let's kill this orc. Orc young, I guess. Could go sit on this guy. But I want to be in range of this guy. The damage. Let's just wait until we get the hammer out. Maybe we can punch some holes in that. Make sure the taunt's up. We did go after. No, we didn't. It hasn't gone yet. Alright, we'll shield wall. Hit the orc very hard. Ah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Oh shit, was that the second skip? I might have ended this turn. No, okay. Scoot out of the way. I don't think Phil is doing anything this turn. Alright, here we go. 95% chance to hit with the hammer blow. Fucking right. That was a head hit, of course. Alright. So one of those hits is entirely wasted with the, uh, the accompanying stamp cost. I think this orc is pretty fucked, even without the addition of a another guy. So let's move over here and hit this one. Alright, Barbaros with the close range. Great axe. Is he even gonna live? Uh, I don't think he's gonna live. I'm not gonna waste the stamina on backing out. Looks good. Should have reloaded the crossbow on Stevie. Playing a half elf bard. See? Uh, should we smack this guy in the face? Yeah, let's see why not. Kind of annoyed that one's running away, but whatever. Let's pull our shield. There we go, so charged in. Okay. Let's get down here with oh there's an orc there. Shit. I lost track of that orc. Double knockback. Weird. He's shield walling. I thought I taunted his ass. Taunted units are not supposed to be fucking shield walling. Just fine though. All right. A lot of headshots over there. 
We're gonna go before this guy. Let's just pull uh, great axes and smash him. QED. Pull the great axe. Wait. Smash him with the great axe. And I'm tempted to actually rotate another great axe in and kill him. Let's do that. Brother Kate over there. Stevie's gonna walk into an orc warrior. Oh, that was a headshot. Okay, our armor break will go last. Okay. Half elves, half elves are only half as bad, Sui. So uh, let's go hit him with the, uh, the long axe. Could be a kill. Hang out. Um, I think he's gonna end up there. He might not. I guess I could take a big hit in QED if I do this wrong, but I think we have a taunt. Axe in four. No, we don't have a taunt. I think I could take one hit. He might break my fucking shield though. This guy does not have a shield spec. I don't want to lose that shield. Okay. We'll just hang out for now. Ooh, we could just get right on top of him there. Yeah, I like that. My my half heater, but that's okay. The half heater's not a big deal. I don't know where the hell I'm going with this guy. Get a little bit closer, I guess. Take that tile in a moment. Death in this in Evita over here. Taunt the orc. Need that tile. Let's go around. Get closer. Mighty Bruce out of the way. Alright, QED can move and hit. I do love the versatility of uh, bags and belts. Having a, a point blank two hander, a long range two hander, and a shield is pretty cool. We're definitely running him down. For some reason I thought that would be in range to hit, and it's not. Haunted. Shield wall and repost. Social mechanic on top of him. Just in 
In case he's running around with his throwing daggers out being annoying. Come on. What are you talking about? You hit things, Oak Dragon. I think you're shitting on the Bannerman too much. You know how much the difference the Bannerman makes? About a, over a quarter of the morale. Well, it's not true. About 20% of the morale of what we're uh, running on any of our characters at any given time is from uh, the Bannerman's passive buff. What is this orc doing? Finally, it took him like 12 turns to get off the map. Let's take a look at the damage here. I'm really kind of curious. Mark with 800. Two-hander with 700. The other two uh, hybrids with 600. 600. And 600. Man, those are... With the point-blank axes added to those, we're actually doing really good damage off of the hybrid build. It's a legendary cleaver. You guys were right, and I was not. That is a orc warrior's cleaver. One-handed cleaver. Let's take a look at that. I thought it was just a basic cleaver. What does our what does our inventory say that's worth? What is the damage range? 